When working with Inventor and Vault, uh, you create relationships in, in Autodesk Inventor while you're actually working on the assembly. So that means when you are working, um, you know, you're putting your parts into the assembly, that records the, the hierarchy of, of what's actually sitting in the assembly. And then when you take the assembly into an, an IDW or a drawing file, then it records that and, you know, everything fits in quite nicely. Now, when you take it into Inventor, into Vault, sorry, Vault will then put into the database and it will record those, those links. So, for instance, if you now start moving the, the, the parts within the folder structures in Vault, um, the database will make sure that everything is still linked back to that original assembly and then as well as back to the IDW. If you had to try to do this in uh, your in your uh, you know Windows File Explorer, it wouldn't work. It would start saying, sorry, but you know, I, I don't know where anything is and, and I've lost the links. So what happens if you, you know, maybe you get a, a, a set, um, an Excel spreadsheet or a Word document, anything like that, or even a you know an email. And you need to attach that email to, to the, the assembly because it's all part of the job. So what happens over there is you can, you know, drag and drop the 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 uh, Word document or whatever it is into the into the vault. So what I've done over here, I've I've gone to, to my designs. You'll see that I've got a Word Docs folder. And in that Word Docs folder, I've got uh, my Word document. Now you'll notice here that I've got a couple of different revisions of this Word document. So, you know, for instance, you know, vision B, uh, A to E. And, and what you can do is you can actually link any of those uh, revisions to, to any, in, in, you know, sort of the, the assembly. So, for instance, if I've got, um, if I go back to my designs over here, okay, my assembly over here, I'm going to say, look, right, I like to attach this. And you can see that I can go attach it. And I can go look for my Word document and open. Now, what you'll see there, it automatically goes and it attaches revision E because it's the latest revision. But what I can say is I actually want to attach revision A to this or revision B or revision C. And OK. So now when I go to my assembly one, you'll see there under my attachments, I've got doc word revision B. Now, the nice thing about this is, like, say for instance, I've got two assemblies over here and I need both those documents to be assigned to it, but maybe TS046 is actually an upgrade or, you know, a different or a different version of assembly one. I still need that Word document to be attached to it, but I actually need version D. So I can go to this once again. And actually, let's make it version E because may say this is the, the latest version over here. Attach it. Go to my Word docs. And attach version E. So now what I've got over here is under my TS046, I've got version E. Now, what you might want to know is does it actually change or does it actually show you this Word document? So I'm going to go file open. Let's go see what revision E is. I'm not going to check it out. I'm just going to open it. Now, it does open up in Word. Um, and you'll see that there is a vault add in in Word as well. So you can actually um, check in or check out or manage your, your Word documents through the vault add in to that as well. So you can see that I've got Rev A, Rev B, and Rev C. Okay. If I go back to this over here, let's go to my assembly one and let's see what this revision B is. So let's go right click and open that. Uh, object reference, not similar instance of object. Yeah, let's just try that again. Open. I had it open already. Obviously, you can't open up a, a Word document of, of the same name twice. Okay, and there you can see that I've only got Rev A and Rev B. So, Looking at what I've actually got in the vault, I've got the same Word document sitting in the vault and I've got different revisions of it and each revision has got different information is sitting inside that Word document. So as you can see that I can take an object or file of different revisions with different, uh, with different information in it and attach it to different files or different assemblies. And even if I wanted to, you know, what you might not have noticed if I go through to my attach, 
um, even different revisions of it. So I've only got revision A for this assembly over here, but if I had revision B, C, or D, I can actually go and attach different revisions of that Word document to a different revision of this assembly document over here. So that's how, just a little bit of insight into how attachments works and how it actually manages different revisions of the same document being able to be attached to different parts or assemblies in the vault. Thank you very much for watching.